And welcome back to GTAP. I'm Kaz. I'm Mac. Uh, Mac's rocking the sticks. I'm still rocking the couch. We're still playing Metroid Zero Mission. Uh, we're gonna beat the whole thing. So we're gonna try to beat the whole thing. And if, if, my, if, if, and if my showing on the first mid boss was any example, it could be a long time. That hey, means the, that hey, means the controller's at least gonna be it's in not my fusion. Hand. I said that means the controller will be in my hands. In time. Well, <laughs> at least it's not fusion. Because if we got the fusion, then I had to beat Nightmare again. That's not. That's something I never want to do in my entire life ever again. You know, it's funny. Is that was I, the most stressful two weeks of my I, life. I've actually gone back and played that, and for some reason, that boss is so much easier now. <laughs> I don't know. I why. don't believe you. I, I, that boss is a pain in the butt. Uh, <laughs> Matt trying to preserve our maturity. <laughs> no, I just realized that it's not a good enough. <laughs> He's not worthy of that. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Just one. It used to be what five, I think. Ones. Oh, they're still in here. What are those? Annoying. Oh, okay. There. See, it's weird, like, I, I, because I went back and recently played Zero, or, uh, Fusion. And they have a lot of stuff, like, in the background and stuff that does stuff like this that you don't actually interact with. It's just kind of like foreshadowing to what the next couple rooms will be. Yeah, and if this, this thing is nothing, it's not moved. Mm -hmm. They can shine spark in here, too. Oh, really? Right. Yeah, because they added a whole bunch of things from, um... Uh, Did this one have the shine spark? Not originally. No, okay. The shine spark is a, uh, move that you can do that basically makes you... Immortal, and you can basically run up, down, left, or right in a straight shot just without being hurt or killed or anything. Um, it's kind of a like a pro level move, I guess. Yeah, Shine Spark, I, I don't think it's required, other than fusion, I don't think it was required for anything. You know what Eww. I mean? <laughs> I, I don't think you needed to do it to accomplish any of your goals. Actually, in Fusion, I think they tell you about it, but I don't think actually even it's required there. Uh, the only thing it's required for, from what I remember, is getting everything. So getting all the energy tanks, missile upgrades, stuff like that. You, you need it. And there's there's a lot of like puzzle this type ones. Oh, you're in trouble. You were in trouble. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, zero suit. Zero suit. <sighs> That was the other thing. The original Metro didn't have save rooms. Yeah, just like codes. You just, you just, the password would search you out at the uh, elevator uh, okay. to whatever section you were in, North Fair, Brin Star. Gotcha. Oh, I still can't remember the one where Mother Brain looks. Um. So there's something I was, I was gonna tell you before we started this, and I figured we'd, we'd talk about it while we were on the air, because. Uh, we're doing long haul this, and we're not gonna have a lot to talk about when it comes to this. Um, and I had brought up cosplay before. Oh yeah. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, every single year we go to PAX East. Yep. Um, and every single year, for the last few years, we've cosplayed. Um, typically, our cosplays don't match. We're usually kind of independent when it comes to that stuff. Um, but it, it's this year we're kind of planning something. We're, we're trying to plan a few of us doing Overwatch characters. Um, and for those of you who've seen me, I am of a certain body type, so I am deciding to do Roadhog as my as my cosplay. Imagine uh, the body type. Uh huh. You can imagine the body type there. Um, it's a, it's almost dead on too. Um, but one of the things we had talked about was for my for my cosplay is you guys didn't want to paint the tattoo directly on my body because it would take a while. Yeah. So we wanted to look for like a, a flesh colored leotard or like singlet skin suit or too. skin suit or something. Guess what is not a fun thing to search on the internet for? <laughs> oh god. You search for skin suit, huh? Uh, no, I, I searched for skin colored singlet. Even Think, worse. Thinking, you know, there will be some kind of like, uh, oh, there's a treasure in that sure. Um Thinking I would get like um, like wrestling, like rest, like played against sports, like that type of stuff. I did not get anything like that. In fact, I've seen more like dudes in like who are ripped <laughs> and kind of package filled. I'm gonna use the word in the last couple this days. So sure well, for I don't have any missiles on me. That's fine. Just dodge it for now. Uh, can you shoot the spikes? Yeah, yeah I was gonna say. 
Do you remember, he can't get you if you're in the ball. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got it. See, you got this. It's your right. Let's come straight down. Ah. Yeah, well, the problem is I keep switching... Just naturally going for the stick. Mm -hmm. You don't want to play this game with the no. stick. You really don't want to play this game with the stick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's been my last few days. Is uh, looking up skin suits. Looking up skin suits, and it is. So why don't you give uh, us an eyewitness account? What did you find out? There? So okay, so when you search out, this is audio. It can only be so great. When, when you search out flesh-colored singlet, which is the first thing I thought, because I, I didn't think like leotard or anything like that. I thought like a wrestling singlet. You know what I mean? Um, you get basically a bunch of decent looking dudes um, who are ripped and jacked all hell. Um, Makes sense. But the singlet isn't like a wrestling singlet. It doesn't just like, you know, crop at the neck. It literally crops all the way down to what we call the V muscle. Oh, so the, the extra abs? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, arrow the, abs? The, 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 the things the, that women the, are totally the, into the, that I think genetically most men don't the, have. The, the pathway to the grundle, as I yeah, like the fleshy yeah, fabric. Exactly, yes. So, um,. Yeah, you basically get a bunch of dudes with that on. Wow. Essentially. Yeah, it is. Um, Do attractive men wear those? I uh, apparently. Um, <laughs> I assume it's a cougar thing. I, I, I would assume. Oh god. I, I assume that would be kind of the equivalent to like dudes like in Schoolgirls. Oh god. I, I would assume. I don't. I don't know if that's true that or not. Thing? Don't. Uh, oh yeah, dudes like in Schoolgirls. Absolutely. No. 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 No, oh, I, so just, <laughs> oh, that's helpful. Oh, look at that. See? Yeah. All right, you got this this time. Um, I think, yeah. I think so. But, like, yeah, it, it has been an interesting experience the past couple of days, looking this stuff up and uh, praying to God that I don't die and anyone has to see my search history on my tablet. <laughs> get him. Oh, you're gonna get him ah. Sorry. You're good. You're good. I'm just going to just gonna call it out. There you go. Now. There you go. There you go. You got this, you got this. Alright, so. Should hold him before he goes down. Uh, no, not all this. Yeah. Alright, so they come straight down and just walk up. Ow. I'm still not fighting him out. Um, well, like, you might be able to take him in that in that time frame, but. Still falling. Oh, he tanked. There you go. Now we're in business. Nice. Nah, good. There we go. That's funny, three pillars. Right again. Ugh. The rule of, well, back in the eighth of days, it's not the whole, rule. Of, well, the rule of thirds was always like, yeah, uh, big things so. uh, <laughs> But yeah, that's that's been my experiences so far. I know you've been doing a lot of foam work. You and uh, foam work, yeah. We've you been, you uh, and uh, we've been learning the art of foam craft. You, you and friend of the channel, uh, Matt Rowe. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't got too far. I've been mostly recently working on. Just learning the basics of making firearms now. I started with like melee weapons, like a knife. Um, but now, I'm trying to build guns because eventually I'm building it. It's based on a uh, guy who uh, has a great prop show. I'll probably put him in the doobly doo. Um, build a ran, and it's uh, a Destiny uh, hand cannon. Um, but eventually, I'm gonna probably take. What I learned there, and eventually build McCree's gun, specifically the American gun from the uh, Summer Games that they did for the Rio Olympics. Which this is something we're going to need your help with. Uh, people who are listening right now. Um, we are trying to pressure Mac into cosplaying. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, and if those of you out there would like to see it, we will definitely be posting stuff like that to our Twitter account. Um, but yeah, we're trying to pressure Mac into it. So if you could just help with that. Poking and prodding. That'd be awesome. That'd be, yeah. You, <laughs> that's what the internet's for, right? <laughs> Poking Good and prodding and, and cat videos. And cat videos. And porn. And porn. porn. Yeah. Lots and lots of porn. I'll tell you what, As you know, because you saw a single. I'll tell you, we're, we're at a good safe spot here. Um, well, we, we've kind of filled the whole gamut on this episode. Oh, I know. Right? Like, uh, this, this is going to be the fun. This is the whole package. This is going to be fun, fun, long haul. Like, real fun. Oh, yeah. No, it's going to get stupid. <laughs> it only gets stupider from here. Oh, yeah. More stupider, more oh. stupid, whatever. But for GTAP, I'm Kaz. I'm Mac. And, yeah, don't look up flesh-colored singlets on the website. On the, online. I'll leave a link in the doobly-doo. <laughs>